The first time I remember seeing Lewis Hamilton race was in Turkey in GP2 in 2006, and what a brilliant race it was, too. But his story, the karting kid who told McLaren chief Ron Dennis, Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton. I won the British Championship and one day I want to be racing your cars when Ron was presenting awards, was legend. Ron started to watch him, and to see that Lewis was the real deal. Straight away, it became obvious there was something very special about this kid. It was an important start. Lewis didn't have the moneyed background that some guys in F1 have, so it really was the winning that put him on the radar. As he progressed, moving into the Euro F3 series in 2004, things started to slow down a bit for Lewis. He finished fifth in the championship and was doing only okay. In truth, Ron and McLaren began to take a bit of a step back. Hamilton has no expectations as he bids to seal fourth world title and that is where you see the strength of the Lewis we see today. The Euro F3 series in 2004 champion. The 2006 GP2 champion. When things weren't going so well for him, he could turn it around and make it happen. The rest is history and, of course, he can make more of that in Mexico this Sunday by becoming the first British driver to claim four world titles. It's a huge jump moving into F1 and the pressure is unbelievable. You really have two years at the most to make things happen, otherwise you just drop out as if you were never there. In his first season, 2007, he was partnering world champion Fernando Alonso and Fernando probably thought, this kid isnt going to be a problem, but on that first day of the new season, Lewis proved he was going to be a big noise. Lewis always wanted to win everything but he was actually very shy, and still is, so it was his ability to win that really spoke for him, his love of racing, the chance to show, that's how good I am. And he really is that good. He has an ability not only to see the broader picture, for himself and his team, and apply it on the track in a way that makes a difference, but also to notice the fine details that allow him to make the most of his ability. How Lewis Hamilton can win the F1 world title in Mexico I remember at Monza this year, though, seeing something new in Lewis, and it was so noticeable that Damon Hill and I just looked at each other and said, wow. The way he drove in a wet qualifying session was unbelievable. It looked so easy for him and that togetherness between car and driver, the way he was able to rotate it but never lose the rear because of the braking to throttle transition, was just perfect. The only way to describe it is a kind of out-of-body experience. Iron Senna, Lewis Hero, had it, while there are others, Usain Bolt, Tiger Woods, Roger Federer, who have had a similar aura, the feeling that even on a bad day they could pull out a win. Through that first world championship year, McLaren and Luis created a perfect storm. He was molded in the McLaren way and everything worked. But people mature in different ways and he obviously needed a change of scenery to help him grow, and Mercedes have provided the perfect space. Getty Images Yes, some people can moan about Lewis and his outside interests, but that's who he is. Even F1 drivers need a life out of their sport, especially these days, where the demands of social media and the constant attention are greater than ever. But it's when the gloves are on and the visor is pulled down, that is what really counts. Cleverly, he doesn't allow his rivals to see even the slightest glimpse of what might give them an advantage over him. It's that steeliness that will allow him to keep chipping away at all the records in F1. He is still young and I see no reason why he cannot go on to equal or even beat Michael Schumacher's seven crowns. Watching Lewis drive sends shivers down my spine. He is so deserving of this fourth world title, a victory that will see him take his rightful place in the firmament of sporting greats.